Hi, I'm Debbie from um, Best Case Mama. Yeah. Finagle here. Best Case Mama Fab Finds. How are you guys today? I'm doing a haul video. Um, I'm trying to work on doing videos while I'm out and about, um, honestly, but <sighs> everything's problematic. Um, I'm working on getting some better um, content creator things for doing videos. Again, everything's a process. Don't mind my hair. I was out. It was windy here today in New Jersey. So um, today I actually went out to a um, new Goodwill and I was very overwhelmed. The place was crazy, crazy. So much stuff. Um, so much stuff. Prices are a little nosebleedy. So pray for me. It's a process. Um, but anyway, I'm going to try to do this video. Um, I got my book. My handy dandy book. So, um, and I am going to eventually get to the part where I show you what I do, but just so you know, I kind of have this handy dandy book and I write down, I give them numbers, two numbers, and I write down what I'm doing. And then I, um, so I bring them in, log them in here. I write what I paid for them. I look them up online and then I write what I'm going to list them at based on somewhere in the middle line, based on sold comps. Um, and I put down like the basic information I need for my listings. I put them into a spreadsheet. Yes, I could just do it right into a spreadsheet. Actually, I could. But this little book, I can take easily with me places. My iPad is less than cooperative. My laptop, it's okay. I prefer just working on a PC. I'm old. I'm old. I'm not that old, really. I'm not that old. But I, um, I'm tech savvy, but sometimes I just like things to be simple. Simple, simple, simple. So we're going to go through this. We're going to try to really quickly. Dude, my husband just came in the door. I haven't seen him yet, but we're going to try to do this really quickly and show you some of the things I got the other day. These are all from the Salvation Army. Um, so this is a Roxy. Um, it is a cardigan, open front cardigan with the open weave. And it's super cute. Hi, my dog. <laughs> She comes right up between my legs. Hello. Um, and we, I paid $5.99 for it. So um, now I just have to figure out where I've got all my notes for this free thing here. Because I started doing this the other day. And then it didn't cooperate. And then I was frustrated. And then I yelled at the iPad because it didn't record. And it keeps trying to save things to the cloud. And the cloud says, I need more. Like, they give you this much memory and say, buy more. And then when you buy more, you don't have enough memory. They're just annoying me. I just, I'm, I'm annoyed with things today. Just everything's a little annoying. So, anyway. Um, so, everything. Did you uh, grab the little pincher things that I need? Yes. Because everything's stapled, as you see. I need pincher things. So, um. Anyway, all the things um, at the Goodwill, um, we have, I mean, at the Salvation Army, they on Wednesdays, which was today, but this was last Wednesday when I sourced, um, everything is half price. So this was six, but I paid $3 for it. Um, the cool thing about the Salvation Army half price is all the tags, except for one, are half price. So Goodwill does a couple tags are half price on regular days, and then Sundays are dollar days. But um, at the Salvation Army, everything except for one is half price. So that's a little easier to keep track of. But it's kind of fun. So I just have to find out where all my my stuff here is. I'm a little out of the... Uh, I just came in. I decided to do this. I probably should have planned better. I always should plan better, but I don't. Um, so anyway, Roxy... Roxy, 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 Roxy. See, they were all in order, and now they're not, because I did this the other day, and I had it all really good, and I was very happy, and then, and then, um, the, it didn't work, so I will find this for you in a minute, and then I will show you, but let me show you this stuff, too. So I did get some hard stuff. I got this cute little birdhouse spreaders. It's new in the box. It's by the company Spreadables, Cardinal Incorporated, but look at those cute little, they're cute, right? So, the Spreadables, I believe, let's see, are they in an easy place for me to find them? Oh, no. Maybe. No. <laughs> this is going to be... <sighs> Some days, 
You eat the bear. Some days the bear eats you. Today's going to be the bear eats me kind of day, I guess. Okay. I will find the prices on that too. I thought that, you know, I would touch it and it would be there and it would be great. So this is here though. This was $2.99 at Salvation Army. And it is a platter shaped like a giraffe head. And it's not, a, it's not vintage or anything, but it's cool. It's so cute. I just couldn't get it for how cute it was. So I got that and um, that can was $2.99, and I'm pretty sure I can get around $30 for it. Um, and when I find those spreadables, I'll let you know. When I find the sweater, I'll let you know. Um, let's see what we have here. Let's see what we have here. Can, oh, that Talbot's. So this is a Talbot's. It is a striped cardigan. I love these little cute buttons on here. They are like little yellow tees. You see that? Thank you. So yeah, and it's double pockets, which is kind of cute. There's top top pockets, and then there's bottom pockets too. So um, the Talbot sweater was three dollars, and I can get twenty two for it. Oh, Roxy, the Roxy. Here it is, um, and I can get seventeen for the Roxy. Seventeen fifty probably for the Roxy. So I bought a lot of board shorts. We live near the shore. And these are O'Neill's Lopez Freaks. Let's see, it says Lopez Freak on the pocket there. It has zipper pockets. It has the tie front. Um, we used to summer in Cape May when I was a little kid. So there's a lot of cool um, surf shops down there. There's like a beach that's just about surfing. So it's kind of cool. Um, but the O'Neill's cost me two dollars and I can get 20 for them okay and then I have this really cute look <laughs> it says lazy one I thought it said lazy loan right lazy one it's a medium it's got a cute little moosey on it can you see the moose yeah the moose. it's a long sleeve um t-shirt it's got the cute little red and white stripe on the cuff I keep forgetting what side I just can't take these things. um <laughs> everything's backwards so this one was three dollars and again probably 18 17.99 something like that this is new and it has tags on it um it's not anything really special the unit is the brand and it's got this cute little blingy friday bag girl there's lots of blinginess on it drinking her cocktail i love her she's got this fancy little fancy little necklace on can you see it <laughs> <laughs> so cute. Anyway, um, this unit is a uh, new with tags, so it cost me three fifty, and I'm probably gonna get about forty dollars for it. Um, it does have something on the back though, so that I have to clean it. But this should come out really easy, just with a little washing. I had to slide over here so that I can do the washing things. <clears throat> I do. You do occasionally get things on them. This is a silver silk men's sweater i believe it's a men's it's an extra extra large it is pretty it is a pretty um quarter button down the front it is oh, my back here we go my back hurting today um i do have some back issues from time to time so i always have to kind of finagle around and i was out walking and i was out i went to a new goodwill today um, up where my daughter works, which was very big. Um, lots of stuff. I was so overwhelmed. I was so overwhelmed. I could not focus. I did get a good haul, and I will do that video coming up, and I will tell you more about it. But I was very overwhelmed. I just was, <laughs> I wanted to go home and take a nap. It was making my head hurt. So this is um, a three fifty. It cost me because it was on six ninety nine, seven dollars three fifty, And um, I can get 55 for it. It's in exceptionally good condition, too. I love when things are in exceptionally good condition. So, <clears throat> these are Araya jeans. Um, these are 15, 16. They're a, I believe they're like a, I don't want to say they were like a skinny cut. They have really cool back pockets um, with a little embroidery on them. They have the buttons. Interesting. So, these cost me $5.99, I think. So, that means that they would have been 3 bucks. Um, they're in really good condition. They're faded. They're not dirty. 
you know, the cuffs weren't beat up too badly. There's always, you know, you always got people, so I, it was like, when I was growing up in the 70s, being able to walk on the bottom of them, it was like a good thing. Like, if they got all ripped up, it was like the, cool, the good thing. You were allowed to do that. So these were three, and I can get 20. And 20's not bad. So this... I love when I find something exciting. Sometimes you just find exciting things and look at that tag. What is that tag that I can use today? So it was three fifty for this. And yes, it is anthropology. And it is a super cute little cardigan. It's navy and it's got like the pleated ruffle bottom and the stripes. And it's just the little open front card cardigan. It is super cute. It is an extra small. So I can't keep that for myself, unfortunately. But, um, yeah, where's the anthropology? Oh, yeah, where did it go? <laughs> I'm so sorry, guys. I'm just sitting here with, like, my back is screaming. I'm going to have to go take something. Because I have a lot of pictures to take today. So, why is this not? Oh, here it is. The bottom page. So, about $21 for it, pre-owned, which is never bad. So, again, we have Sugar Reef board shorts. Look how cute these are. These are so cute. This is just so cute. So these have the li mesh lining inside, the drawstring from the inside. They were $2.50 for me. Um, I love the, like the pattern on here. It's cute. They have the um, pockets with the tab. It's for the hook and loop. Oops, I can't say the V word. The V word is copyrighted, so don't say that. Um, it's got little flamingos on it, too. I don't know if you can see that. So anyway, um, this is was this? What did I say? Did I say anything? Did I? I don't know. There is a tag in here someplace because I wrote it down. There we go. Sugar Reef. <laughs> it's a large. So um, the Sugar Reef goes for about $45 pre-owned. So that's nice for a swimming suit. And then we have this really cute, I love the colors in this flannel shirt. This is a flannel shirt. It's a big size. Three extra large T foundry, it cost me three bucks, and foundry, foundry. Um, we'll go for 20. So again, this is a super cute board short, hibiscus, navy. The brand is OP, which is Ocean Pacific, for those that didn't know. It's a medium, 32-34, and I paid $2.50, and it goes for $12.50. So it's like $10 profit. They long. $10, never bad. $10, never bad. Sorry for going out of the view. So another pair of jeans. These jeans are really cool. There was no exterior tag on them. They came off. By the way, there was a big tag on them, supposed to be. But they had this tag in it, which told me enough that I could find out what it was. So these are a... Um, 38 medium men's rocker jean. So I looked it up and the brand is the jean shop and this is a men's rocker um, No exterior tag, but it has orange stitching. Can you see? The stitching's all this orange color, which I just thought was pretty cool and the jeans are in good shape. There's a little bit of Rough up on the bottom here Like a little bit. I'll trim the stringies off, but just a little on the bottom, but you know what? Honestly, there's a little on that bottom too, but that's it. The rest of it's pretty decent. There's a little there, but um, so but the jeans themselves are in great shape. There's like a little distress on the pocket there, but I think that that might be intentional distress. I don't know, unless they had keys in their pocket, maybe. I don't know, cause yeah, there's a little intentional distress on that pocket too. So maybe little bits of distress are per are on purpose, cause there's little bits here. You know, there's like little bits here and there, but it's nothing like no holes in the jean bottoms or the back or anything. And um, so that was three fifty, but they're twenty five dollars all day long. So I think I can probably still get that for them. So this, so things you learn, you live and learn. So this is a new day. By the way, this is a Target brand. Um, I didn't know, didn't know what you don't know, you don't know. But this is a really sweet sweater, and it's got tags, brand new, medium. Um, so it's really nice. It's got it's brand new tags on it. Um, I have no idea what I paid for it because the tag is off of it, but uh, new day, there it is. It's gold at four dollars ninety fourteen. So I'm still gonna make my ten bucks, even though it's not perfect. This, however, pretty, pretty, pretty. This is so pretty. This is a company called Crystal Cove, 
and it's a little moth and turtleneck it has a zipper in the back mint green stripe and it is just you can tell this is nice it feels delicious um it is acrylic but it feels delicious and it's a large um and it cost me three fifty, and I can get twenty for it. Another pair of really nice board shorts. This is Trinity board shorts. I think they're thirty-eight, and they are newer tags, and they're like turquoise blue and gray, black stripes. Um, I paid three fifty for them. And I can get 20. Again, another. These are Hurley's. Let's see the Hurley logo on them. And they have like blue Hurley's. They're a nice size. Board short. Um, and I paid two bucks for them. And they will be 25 bucks, so you can't beat that with a stick. So again, here's something that needs to go in the wash, and I paid $4.50 for it, but it is an Air Jordan Nike um, dry fit. Very big size. I forget what size it is. It is in here someplace. I wrote it down. I'll tell you in a minute. But um, it's a 23, and it is silver and white. Full zip. See, it's like shiny silver and white. Um, full zip jacket. And I paid $4.50 for it and I can get $90. So there is a little couple spots on it that need to be spotted, but they're really small. I'm sorry, I'm bending down into the, the bin again. So these are really cute. And again, these, these are mad rag. Um, it's got a mad rag tag on it. All the buttons are still covered in the things. It is a very, very good American Bozzy, brand new with tags, extremely distressed denim overalls. And if I can ever get it turned around because they're twisting up. So, there we go. So it's got the bib, bib overalls, crisscross back. Super cute, super cute, super cute, super cute. And these are large, but they're skinny. Um, and the style is RJHL837. So um, these are just adorable. I mean, they're just, you know, that if you find these, any kind of overalls, they're generally a good pick. Um, yeah, well, where is the. American Bazzi. Oh, there they are. They paid five dollars and they're twenty-four, so not too shabby. Oh, down into the box. Okay, down here. So these are free people um, jeans. It's a twenty-eight inch waist, and they're only a twenty-seven inch. And so these are a petite or a very you know junior size. They're super skinny. They are distressed. With flowers all over them so they're like a light wash super cute but they're in really good condition and um they're just teeny they're for a teenier person i've never been that teeny um i did have a 28 inch waist at one point these are 28 yeah i had a 28 inch waist once upon a time not these days but i did once upon a time when i was in high school my senior year of high school it was a 28 inch waist, but I don't think I was ever 27 inch inseam. I was 28, 30 usually. So where, oh, where is the free people? Oh, there they are. So these cost 250 and I can probably get $12 for them. Maybe a little bit more. We'll see. Sometimes free people goes well. I did pick up some ties. Um, they were all a dollar and they go for between 10 and 13. Um, the Pierre Cardin, I got a guy, La Roche, that's like a $13 one. And then there was a more expensive one in here. Where was it? I wrote it down. I'm looking. Oh, a Charles Tyrewitt, T-Y-R-W-H-I-T-T, -T, made in London. It was a red striped one. And I'll show it to you. It's down the bottom. Sorry. It's way down the bottom. I need to go down to the bottom. 
and pull it out. But you can tell that this is made better. All the other ones are real thin. This is so thick and well made. It's real pretty. There's the Charles Pirate Wit. And that is um, a $25 tie. These are all, they're all silk, 100% silk. So um, I have all those up. So then I had some other things that I bought that were hard goods. Um, and I bought something, I never usually buy these things. But I bought her because, honestly, oh, 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 oh things are falling, sorry. Things are falling. <laughs> Um, because she's beautiful, and I just think she's probably worth, like, at least $100. So, I bought this duck hat. Ooh! Sorry. She fell out of her thing. She fell out. Oh my she has a hat. There we go. The hat was stuck behind her. So, anyway. So, now, alright, she's out of the box. She's out of the box, but she comes in. She came with the box. But she is just beautiful with her crazy beaded head and her look at all the beads on this doll I just can't get over it so she's beautiful she's a fur hat and feathers and it's just in really good condition her hair is even really pretty in good condition um so she's a duck house heirloom doll and I'm going to look inside. I don't know. I guess now that I've done all this, now that she's come out, she has like plastic wrap on her. She doesn't have a certificate though. So she's, but still, I didn't pay very much for her and I'm going to bet that I can probably still get 70 to a hundred dollars for her because she's just gorgeous as you saw. Because dolls, I'm going to be honest, there are a lot of dolls. And I collected dolls for years, so I know quality dolls. And I've only picked up two dolls, even though I like dolls. Um, I've only picked up two dolls because generally dollies don't do well. And there are a lot of dolls at the thrift shop, so be forewarned. If you're going to pick them up, pick them up because they're beautiful. Look at their faces. If they have that dead look in their eyes, nobody wants them. Um, even if they're old, it doesn't matter. Old, vintage, they have to be unique. Thank you, husband. Um... So what else do we have that I got on this last little run of things here? Uh, <clears throat> so I did get these. I got four of these. These are federal glass, and you can see on the bottom, there's a little shield with an F in it. Federal glass, and this is a, I put it down as a needlepoint stage coach because it sort of looks like needlepoint on here, and it's got flowers, and it's got yellow. Anyway, I got four of them, mm -hmm. and they go for about $40, and I think I paid four for all four. And then I have a shell vase. Shell because it looks like a scallop shell, right? And it's kind of flat. It's got the gold rim and it has orchids on it. And this company, this is Fine China Japan is the thing. And I paid $2.99. And I can probably, it's vintage, so I can probably get about 20 bucks for it. Okay. Um, the Bright Star Designs, I wonder where that is. Oh, it's back, yeah. There it is. So I picked this up. It's $1.99. Um, it's Bright Star Design Shadow Box. And this is the Shema, the Audio Bible. It says Shema Israel, Adonai Eloheinu, Adonai HaKad. And then it's Hero Israel, um, the Lord is our God, the Lord is one, um, around the side. So it's really pretty. It's Star David in the middle. It's kind of, you know, modern and fancy and gold and purple. And gold and purple, I like. Um, but it's really pretty. It's like eight by eight. It originally cost $25. Um, and I'm pretty sure I probably can. It's got stickers and everything. So it's made by Collins. So I probably could get 20, between 20 and $22 for it. Something like that. Um, and then I got these all Converse. Um, I got them for half price. They were $7.99. So I probably paid $4 for them. But they're Converse, Leopard. They have a sparkle gold logo. They're in really good condition. Um, I bet both of them look about the same. There's not a lot of wear on the heel. There's a little wear here. A little. But they're still in really, like, really nice condition. Um, Converse All-Stars, Chuck Taylor's High Tops. So, um, I think when I looked them up, I was surprised at how good a pick those Converse were because they're pretty unique. And Converse can do really well depending on the style. So you just always be check them out. 
Um, especially old Converse. If you can find some old vintage Converse, don't clean them. People don't care that they're dirty. Trust me, they'll buy them. But those Converse can go for about $70, the ones I have. So that's good all day here. Um, so I did buy some other things, blanket, a couple baby blanket, um, and some other little things, but that's about it for this haul. So I'm going to come back with another haul because I also have a Goodwill haul that I have to do, so I'll put that together. Um, in the next few days, I have like five or six haul videos that I have to get out, so I'll get to them as quick as I can. Thanks for watching. Please hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. I promise I'll get my content to be a little more interesting as we go along. Um, I'm just starting out, but give me a little, little support um, and help me get this going and hopefully it'll come together a little better as I go. But I try to source some interesting things. I'll try to give you some interesting information as we go um, because I've been doing this a long time, but I um, was doing baby clothes before because my daughter was little and um, this is kind of, some of this is new. So um, there's a lot of learning curves and I am learning, but you can learn along with me. Um, one of the guys I watch, um, North Carolina picker, I think. I just love watching him because he makes mistakes, fall on his face mistakes, and he's the first to admit it. Like he bought a whole bunch of little row clothes and he was like, bad mistake. So, um, <laughs> yeah, so you live and you learn and you, you, as you go along, but it's a lot of fun and, um, and it's a good way to make some extra money. So, but it's a process. It's hard work. Don't think it's not hard work. And um, you have to be, you know, kind of decisive about it. So I will come back, I promise, and do a kind of how to set up a business like this um, video on a small scale for part-timers. Um, because um, I've been in finance for 27 years. I have my own business beyond this. So um, I've been doing these kinds of things for a long time. But I'm kind of good at some, there's some things I'm really good at as far as how to organize things and, and get things up and running. The video part of it, less, less good at it, but I'm trying to do it for myself. I don't have somebody helping me and it's a little process, but it's fine. We'll work it out. All right. So I'm at 27 minutes. 30 is my goal. So I will talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye. Thanks for so much for watching. Don't forget, like, subscribe, 